If you saw my last pickups video that I dropped literally right before this one, then you know that I'm on a mission this year to learn how to cut my own hair. And what you're looking at right now on camera is some of my work. Now I did have some help because I messed up on a couple things, but we'll get into that, okay? Right now, you're looking at the before. This is about a month and a half of not touching my hair, and this is after. Now it's not perfect, but I feel like I did pretty good for my first time, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I did it. So first, starting with my beard, I used the exact same beard beard care system I've been using since like last summer and that comes from our video sponsor King C Gillette. It's a full line of products and tools that work for all cultures and hair types. Now first things first, I'm gonna comb my beard. I used to only brush it, but my barber taught me that using a comb actually raises the hairs so they're easier to trim. And just for dramatic effect, I'm gonna groom only half of my face just so you can kind of see the before and after better. Next, I pull out the King C Gillette cordless trimmer. This is using Braun technology, so you know it's legit. It's 100% cordless and comes with interchangeable combs depending on your beard length. You got a long one, a short one, for stubble and mine more so of like a medium length. Now I don't want to go too low off top. I want to definitely take it slow. So I'm gonna go in like the five to seven range for my first pass. And this length is okay, but I want to go just a little bit lower. And now I'm gonna adjust the comb to a three. And this is more so the length that I really want. Then next, it's time to clean up my cheeks and I pull out the transparent shave gel. And it's really important to use the transparent kind just so you can really see what you're doing and you're being as precise and accurate as possible. And the King C Gillette neck razor I'm using has skin guard technology. And for guys that are watching that know my channel, know that this is a razor that is specifically made with sensitive skin in mind. I have really coarse hair and if I cut my hair too low or at the wrong angle, it'll curl up and give me shave bumps. But this gives you a nice close shave without any of the irritation. And then when I flip the neck razor around, you see it has the single blade on the back that allows me to get really precise edges on my cheeks, my lip and mustache area, as well as my jawline and neck. And I'll just keep lining it up there until it comes in stronger. And that's the hope y'all. So there you go, half and half, as you can see, way better on this side. And after I trim and edge up the other side of my face the exact same way, now it's time to nourish the beard. And the first step is washing, and I'm gonna use the King C Gillette Beard and Face Wash for that. It's infused with coconut oil, argan oil, avocado oil, so lots of natural ingredients in there. And you wanna do this for about 30 seconds. And it's gonna seem like a long time, because I didn't used to wash my beard that much, but it's not just getting rid of excess hair, but also cleansing the skin that's under the beard as well. And after I rinse and pat my beard dry, it's time to add the soft beard balm. Other beard balms that I've used before kind of come off really waxy and hard when this one's more so like a deep condition. And this has cocoa butter in it, shea butter in there, argan oil as well. And last but not least, for the final touch, I do about three to four drops of beard oil. And this King C Gillette one in particular has argan, jojoba, avocado, macadamia seed, and almond oil all in one. So it gives you a nice sheen without having to add too much oil to your beard. And it definitely softens the texture as well. Well, now for the haircut part of the video, this is gonna have to be a part two. It's probably gonna be like a 10 minute video within itself, maybe a little more vloggy so you can really see how I messed up my hair. It's kind of embarrassing, but uh, I think you need to see it. I'm not always perfect as you guys know, so I'm gonna walk you through that later. But right now, in the meantime, let me know one to 10 how well you think I did my beard and what you think I could have improved. I know it's not as good as my barber would do it. It's not a professional level yet, but I feel like I'm getting there. I'm starting to learn. So. Let let me know what you guys think. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.